My name is Rowan Cloud. I grew up in Elkton, Maryland and graduated from Elkton High School in 2016. Um, I went on to Hollins University where I studied art history and psychology and graduated in the May of 2020. Um, I started working at a small gift shop in Elkton in 2014 and very quickly we moved to Chesapeake City and I learned that Chesapeake City didn't have a museum for folks to learn about our history in town. So um, I went to college, studied history, studied specifically art history, and when I graduated, Miss Harriet Davis had passed away. And we were asked by the Chesapeake City District Civic Association, the CCDCA, to open her museum for her. So that is how we acquired all of our items, all of our collection. Um, we're lucky enough that we do have donations as well, but a large part of it was collected by Harriet. So we are very grateful to have her wonderful knowledge at our, mm -hmm. at our disposal. I'm Ava Ezekiel. I am 21. I'm from Washington, D.C. Uh, I grew up in D.C. I am a Hollins University graduate class of 2020. We really need a museum in town. We've needed one for years um, to explain why Chesapeake City is important, why we're relevant. So we have a lot of um, Oddfellows memorabilia. Franklin Hall was the Oddfellows Hall back in 1870 until they moved down the street. Um, we are also going to have a lot of information about the C&D Canal. Not as much as the Canal Museum, but we are hoping to acquire some more. We're going to have a lot about the historic homes, both on the north side and the south side of Chesapeake City. Um, we'd like to have a lot about civic organizations, including the Women for Federal Restoration, the CCDCA, Boy Scouts, etc. Um, I really want to make sure that we memorialize the families and the men and women who have put so much effort into Chesapeake City. Um, we have tons of people, one of which is Alaire DuPont, so of course we would like to have some of Kelso and her horse stuff. Um, we are in contact with her family, so we're hoping to get um, a couple of items donated by them. So we're going to have a, a myriad of items, but mostly about the people um, and the civic groups that we have in town. So I came to this town and barely knew anything. I kind of knew the people I had come in contact with, but not really much of the history. And I mean, just doing what we're doing to get this museum open, I've learned so much about the buildings and the people and who who it was that made this town what it is. Um, and I think that that is one of our hopes, that a lot of people will come out of the museum doors and see that it's not just the canal, it's so much more than that. There's history before and after the canal that has really made this town different. And it, it does really matter to honor both sides of before and after the canal. Um, I think I hope that they learn a lot about the people that made this town what it is. In addition to being a museum, we're also going to be a functional archive. So that means that people who are doing genealogical research, research, um, history reports in school, we will have um, our entire collection available for their use. Um, obviously, we'll be encouraging appointments, especially during the pandemic. Um, but I want to make sure that people understand that we have so much more than what's on our shelves. So we have information. We have photographs, documents, you name it, we have it. <laughs> we are currently shooting for an early May opening. Um, if everything goes as planned, we are shooting for May 1st. Um, however, we are taking appointments right now. Um, all you have to do is shoot us an email to chesapeakecitymuseum at gmail.com and we would be happy to set up an appointment and let you and your family come in and check out our collection. Um, that's not only for looking at the museum, but that's also for research purposes as well. Um, of course, as we're here working, you're more than welcome to pop your head in, come on in, as long as you're wearing a mask. Um, however, we do encourage appointments because we can't always guarantee that we're going to be here. We're located in Franklin Hall. That is at 98 Bohemia Avenue. 
Um, if you go straight down Bohemia Avenue towards the water, we are the last building on the right side. Big brick building, you can't miss us. If you go up the right side of the building, up the red ramp, we are right inside the door. Um, completely handicap accessible, no stairs needed at all, um, and we'd be more than happy to accommodate any needs of folks who would like to come and see us. Our team is super excited to have you and your families visit us at the Chesapeake City Museum. You're always encouraged to make an appointment before you come, but we will be open publicly by May 1st. So please bring your families, bring your friends. If you're coming through town, come and visit us. We'd love to have you and we'd love to teach you about our wonderful, wonderful history.